a child's laughter, bird singing, a favorite song on the radio that we drive down the street and sing to. They're all simple sounds we take for granted each day. But this Friday, there's a nationwide challenge to walk in someone else's shoes and experience lo what life is like without being able to fully hear the world around us. You would miss it, wouldn't you? It's called One Day Without Sound. It asks people to wear earbuds for one day to realize how many of us take our hearing for granted. So joining us in the Good Day Chicago studio this morning is hearing care professional David Frazier. David, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Hi, hearing good morning. loss affects 36 million adults and children here in this country. Let's talk a little bit about this and what, what you want us to get out of sounding off and going without sound for a day, this challenge. Yes, hi, good morning. Um, like you said, there's nearly 36 million Americans who suffer from some degree of a hearing loss. And according to the National Institute of Health, not even 30% of those people are actually doing something about their hearing, many because of fear and the unknown. So what the Miracle Ear Foundation's goal is to have participants in the Chicago area around the nation to go one day without sound. And you can go to onedaywithoutsound.org to participate. What's been the reaction to, um, to your website about this challenge? Putting, I mean, just cutting out the sound for a day, sticking in earbuds, do you think so many of us take it for granted that we would, that we always think that could never happen to us? We actually do. And out of the 36 million, nearly half of those are under 65. Wow. So hearing loss has no age frame. We all think that, okay, if we lose a little bit of our sound, <laughs> there are great hearing aids out there. So we can always hear, like we said a few minutes ago, our children giggling, being able to hear our favorite song on the radio and sing to it. But it's not that easy. It isn't. With our hearing, um, what's very interesting to know about it is some hearing loss is actually completely preventable, but it's not reversible. Like so what? How can you? What are some ways that we could lose our, our hearing? Um, we can lose our hearing, like myself driving down Lakeshore Drive this morning, just road noise okay. can cause us to have hearing damage. Chronic ear infections can cause us to have hearing damage. So there's lots of different causes. I tell my children because they blast their music, maybe they got <laughs> it from me, but sometimes I'm like, can you turn that down? You're gonna, hear your, you're gonna hear, lose your hearing. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm guilty as well. <laughs> I do like to have my music a little loud or the surround sound watching movies. However, too much of anything is bad for you. Okay, and again, the reminders to people at home, the ways that you can prevent it. Some of the ways to prevent it is very simple, quite simple to turn it down. Right. I always remind myself of the 60-60 rule. It's to 60% of the maximum volume from whatever device I'm using for no longer than 60 minutes. And how many people do you think is, will, it, will participate in this challenge on, on May 1st? Um, last year we had an awesome turnout, so this year we're looking for an even greater response. And it's as simple as you say, taking those earbuds, sticking them in your ears, mm -hmm. no sound, everybody. <laughs> no sound. Going a day without sound. Give everybody your website if they want more information about this challenge that's coming up, One Day Without Sound. Yeah, it's onedaywithoutsound.org, and you can go there, find a lot of great information about hearing health and how you can participate. And it is going on this Friday. Are you going to take that challenge? I am. I have my earbuds here ready to go. Oh, so you could even use these little things right here that you just stuff mm -hmm. right in or, yep. or you can use your little iPod ones you no can, matter what but with okay? no music but with no music that's why I say turn down the sound there you thank you it. so much Brian Fraser for joining us this morning we appreciate it pleasure to my meet pleasure. you